Hi folks, John Hecker here again, the pro at Brooklyn Country Club in Rochester, New York. Today I'm going to help you get out of the bunkers with a couple of old thoughts and a couple of new thoughts that I found really um, make it easier for me to get out more consistently and become a good bunker player. So as you can see from the face on view here, I'm showing you the club face angle. Normally if you're holding the club, the leading edge, uh, line of the leading edge will form a straight line. We're actually, if you're facing the... Um, the club face here you can see I open up the club face and then I take my grip so it's real important you open the blade let's say this is again facing you maybe it's 130 something like that so you start with the club face at 12 open it up then take your grip that exposes the back part of the club what we call the bounce which stops the club from digging it kind of bounces off the sand versus actually digging into the sand and your ball comes out nicely in, in, into play now the new ideas I wanted to share with you, kind of to take your bunker play to the next level, really have to do with um, getting your hips back. So when a person moves their hips back, they actually end up with more flex than you normally would have for a shot, and that gets your upper body uh, standing straighter up. So it's a, sort of an entirely different setup. I remember I had a, uh, one of the people tell me it was like a, how a bear stands on their hind legs. And what this does is enables you to lower the club, which exposes the bounce even more. So this club is, uh, because my hips are back, I'm going to draw a line here from where my hips are. You can see they're quite a bit behind my heels. I think for a normal shot, you might see my, my um, rear end maybe just a couple inches behind my heels. Now I've added so much flex and moved my hips back that they're a good six, seven inches below. And that enables me to lower the club and expose the bounce more. So it's, it's lower. Again, another thing to expose the bounce. The other interesting thing that this does is it stabilizes your lower body. You will not feel like you're using your legs a lot, but you will feel like they're supporting the shot. And you can see I, when I hit this shot, I don't use my legs a lot. You can see I almost finish flat-footed, but the ball pops out nicely. So from this side, you're going to see the hips back. And then as we face the face on, my kind of my new thought for you here is to flare your feet out. You want to flare your feet out so you have the sense of, again, stabilizing your lower body. It's a nice wide stance. Then we give the sand a good whack. And you can see some of the things that we talked about early. The club face is obviously quite a bit open. Uh, my knees, I almost feel bow-legged when I do this, when I flare my feet out. And again, that's so the legs don't do much other than support the swing. And my arms kind of swing down, uh, back and through. So I'm kind of, it feels like an arms motion uh, versus a, a lot of lower body activity. So give those couple things a try. You know, the wide stance, um, digging your feet in and, and, and making sure the club face is open at address. Those were kind of things that are staples of good bunker play. But the new thoughts are flaring your feet out and sticking your rear end out, trying to get your hips back, which will enable you to use the bounce more splash the ball out of the bunkers and get your balls to stop near the hole.